from rural kanga promise riches unipatie account mm. itakuweka hiyo pesa to police court collecting bribes is there extrajudicial killings in kenya there will be no extrajudicial killings in the government of kenya gen z evangelism in nairobi city in the name of jesus we are to call you all the amazing names of god that you are in the name of jesus we are coming for you Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Daring. Mtukufu lies. Kikosi inachopita mbele yako hapa Bungoma Stadium ni kikosi cha Premier League, Manchester United na Arsenal. A few days ago, uh, the president of Kenya, President William Ruto, he was in Bungoma and he promised the people of Bungoma County that he is going to build and allocate millions or billions to build an international stadium. And this is what the president had to say about this. Sasa mtakuwa na international stadium hapa. Mechi ile inachezewa any part ile ya Arsenal ama Manchester United wanaweza kuja kucheza hapa. Ninasikia speaker ni fan wa Arsenal. Na au wengine ni fan wa hiyo ingine. So msiniulize mimi ni wa kundi gani? Acha ni sawa sawa. So hiyo stadium tutakamilisha. So Kenyans do you think that this is a story that will come true, a dream that will come true, or do you think this is just stories are jabba? Even the Kalenjin people are not happy with their own son. And this is what this man had to say all the way from the Kalenjin community. Listen to this. Yes, Kalenjin to funge mdomo. Hii mdomo to funge. Meno iko nje kwanza wanandi sana sana. Meno tu nje. Hey, ruta da nyone ene. Ene ni nyone. Eh eh eh. Ata ruta ni nyone ene te met kitu gani? Yeye kitu gani unahangaika unaishi nyumba ya matope na unatunaambia ati sijui ruto ni wetu sijui ni nyoye mate wewe nitakataka sana wewe ni humbwa sana tumia akili yako my friend William Ruto kuna kenye itaku ataku saidia in fact William Ruto anaanga hata interest na wakalinji nothing afadhali moi mara 20 angalia inji kama angalia kaunti kama Baringo county Baringo county hakuna industry hakuna factory vijana wanalewa taka taka yote ni kama tunandi na hapo ndipo Serikali hii imekuwa kutoka kitambo sana. Eh? Wacha niwaambie, serikali imekuwa Baringo for 24 years. Eh? Kalenji mdadania mtapata nini ambaye amokupata enzi ya moyo? Hakuna kitu ambaye kalenji mtapata. Kama amokupata enzi ya moyo, hakuna kwa sababu saa hizi time limit ni kidogo. <laughs> Hata ruta anaweza kutoka 2027. You never know. It is not sure bet. Wengine wanasema, "Oh, hakuna mmoja atatoa ruta, sijui ataiba, ataiba kitu gani? Hajaribu aibe." Devolution itakuwa katika Kenya hii. Tutafanya maandamano na tutachoma hii Kenya yote ishi na tuanze kujenga upya. I believe many of you know that politicians they go to the church and give out millions and millions of shillings. But yet have you seen the conditions of our schools? Have you seen how our children are studying? Take a look at this video of this young Kenyan, this young Gen Z who decided to inject and show us this church that was allocated 30 million but even has not yet been finished the money has been stolen in short take a look in the church uh, it's we took a sda church we can say the change of 30 million plus amount of money back in before august 2022 before the august uh, election so over kitu kama 30 million plus ilichangiwa hapa so nimekuza kuonyesha cause when this building was starting kulikuwa na story imetokea anga that the money may get lost over 20 million even it was not 20 million over 29 million so all come back na mita moja kujenga nao kanisa so me i just assumed this do we this was a big project eh because most of the prominent people knew about it that is uh 
Dr. Fred Matiangi. Uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi was here with his chopper. At that time was the CS for security, internal security. Uh, Honorable Simbarati. That time was the MP for, I don't know, in Nairobi. Yeah. The current MP, Anthony Kibagendi, was here. The former MP for this area, uh, the current senator, Umaima, was here. Was the one doing the, that fundraising. But when you look at the church, look at it. You can check out of from 2022, August 2022. It's almost two years down the line. But And talking more about stories, Ajaba. A few days ago at Oga Obina's live show, Oscar Sudi and Nuro Kanga were present and Oscar Sudi uh, promised Nuro Kanga some professional treatment like a house and some money not just small money but big money some millions of cash but do you think that Nuro Kanga received this money till date take a look at what Oscar Sudi promised Nuro Kanga 1.3 million mm. ndafungua account niko nayo account unipatia account nitakuweka mm. hiyo pesa niko na account sio sahihi Sikuwe now we are talking. Now to meanza kuongea sasa. Yo Now we are talking. Unanunuliwa nyumba 3 bedroom. Self contained. Unanunuliwa nyumba tatu. Unajua sasa kila kitu hiyo inakuanga wapi? Si utafute wewe sasa wewe. Una unanga wanafungua nyumba kiko all over the country. Nyumba ina hata kagamega hata kagamega ililonjiwa. It's only a few months or a few years to election season in here in Kenya in 2027. And at that time, we urge Kenyans, I urge you to vote wisely. Take a look at this comedy skit where, uh, uh, <laughs> where it, it shows you how Kenyans, uh, they vote during election seasons. Take a look. So hapa, niko na corruption na accountability. Kuchagua ni wewe? Kuchagua ni wewe? Aya, nachagua gani hapa? Mimi kwa chagua. Accountability, mimi kwa chagua. Uko na hakika? Aya, saa, wekelea kure yako. Kumbuka siri ni yako? Kura ni yako? Mesema siri ni yako? Dia, wewe fungua. Aya, sawa. Mimi Na nilikuwa nimewawon Let us take a short break We're gonna be right back Andrea is still right at Apache, Zanzibar, Tanzania, East Africa And right at Hanoi Hanoi restaurant, cafe restaurant And we're gonna be trying out some famous Vietnamese soup Here, you know, are you ready to try this soup? My first time when I'm trying this soup this is the question, or? I said, like, are you are you ready to try out the soup? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I want to try this. Yeah, like it's so delicious, and also like they've put like different spices, like which it makes it even even more unique, you know. Delicious. So are you enjoying your Vietnamese soup? Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No no worries. Hakuna matat. Pole pole. Pole pole. The justice system in this country is broken. We cannot persevere. We cannot go like this. We will fight until the very end. I'm ready to die for Africa. Africa has suffered for so long. And I want to die. We are coming. 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 We are
This man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a brusky Albis Deli. Let me repeat. For the avoidance of doubt, there will be no extrajudicial killings in my administration. That chapter we have closed. That is not my words, but the president of Kenya, President William Ruto's words. Kenyans, do you think this is true? Do you think that there are no extrajudicial killings in our land, in our country? Take a look at what president had to say about this. Officers that you've appointed, how do you explain that? And what is the agenda of the government moving forward to ensure that there will be no such kind of um, activities? Let me repeat, for the avoidance of doubt, there will be no extrajudicial killings in the government of Kenya under my administration. Yeah, that is a, chap a chapter we must close and weld and bold and put it behind us. Uh, the police, I have sat down with the command of the police from the IG downwards, and we have agreed that they will operate within the law. Do you think Kenyans, our brothers and sisters, are incapable of running an international airport? Take a look at this video of Odash showing us how Kenyans are running an airport in Qatar called Hamad International Airport. So, welcome to Hamad International Airport. Um, an airport that is operated by Kenyans and almost entirely run by Kenyans. You can't walk, uh, I think, two meters in this airport without necessarily, without actually meeting or bumping into a Kenyan airport worker. Um, but somehow, someone wants us to believe that Kenyans are incapable of operating an airport. Well, look, the airport, even this airport even has trees, right? This airport even has trees around it. Um, but someone wants us to believe that Kenyans are incapable of running an airport, right? Adani must go. Adani must go. Ruto and his impunity must stop. Please don't be cheated that Kenyans are not capable of running or managing great things. As you can see, Kenyans are doing a better job than the Adani group. You can see like Kenyans are maintaining the Qatar Hamad International Airport even better than the airport that is in our own country in Kenya, JKIA. Adani, bring back our airport and go home. It's simple as that. Right, this airport even has trees around it. Um, but someone wants us to believe that Kenyans are incapable of running an airport. Right, Adani must go. A few days ago, our president, His Excellency, he launched a railway line in Gong, a few days ago but currently when you go there it is nowhere to be seen it is just bare land mdomo tamu tamu sindio take a look at this video mdomo tamu tamu mdomo tamu tamu leri imeanza kazi imeanza ndiyo hiyo leri yenye inaelekea Nairobi ndiyo hiyo si muna yona ndiyo hiyo eh kazi imeanza eh Kenya tunasonga mbele Ndomo tam tam, ndomo tam tam Jiwe ndi imebaki yapa Look at this Same story Even the mental hospital which is past those hills A similar stone was left like this one Nothing there Actually that one for the hospital Has already been vandalized also This is Ngong this is a place where you are shown that the, the works have started, but as you can see, there is no single rail, not even a meter. So Kenyans, do you want to know, I also learn how to collect bribes? I want to give you a free lesson on how to be corrupt in this country. Take a look at this video of um, our officers, our lovely, handsome and beautiful officers who are captured collecting bribe uh, from the Kikuyu police station. Take a look.
if you are a Gen Z out there, you deserve respect. You deserve to be saluted. Because the Gen Z's have brought a significant change in this country. The political landscape, the political arena, the political playing field has changed because of the, uh, of the pressure and the injection from the Gen Z. And also, like the Gen Z's are also uh, very spiritual. And I want to show you guys of this video of this Gen Z's evangelism in Nairobi CBD. Take a look. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are the Lord. You are wonderful. You are the Lord. Indeed. Wonderful, you are worthy, you are worthy to be worshipped, you are worthy to be glorified. There is no other God apart from you. Oh, yeah. You are worthy, 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 oh God, to be worshipped, you are worthy to be glorified, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Why would you be angry? Because I, why would you be angry? Because I am a man has decided they can go around the country uh, noting out the bad projects, the white elephants, poorly implemented projects, the waste of public finances. Why would you be angry as a Kenyan? Why would you even insult the young man when he says, I want to go to this place and find out if this project was implemented? If your public funds were used well, if what was launched was actually done, why would you be angry? You must be the biggest fool, bloody fool. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.